Well, right now, there are dangerous and potentially deadly products sitting on store shelves and possibly in your home. The federal government doesn't have the authority to recall them. It's an issue CBS4 consumer investigator Angela Brower has been investigating for months. I started digging into the data when Congress introduced the Sunshine in Product Safety Act last year. There are products out there right now that people at the Consumer Product Safety Commission who are tasked with protecting us and our children know are unsafe and yet have not been able to tell the public about it. Lawmakers revealed a controversial statute that restricts the Consumer Product Safety Commission from mentioning potential safety hazards or any kind of recall to the public unless it has the manufacturer's permission. That's even if there are injuries and deaths reported. What happens if the company does not agree with the claims? If a company doesn't agree to a recall, um, we do have the authority to take legal action. Legal action that the CPSC admits could take years to play out in court. And all the while, CBS4 has confirmed that dangerous product is sitting on store shelves and in your home. Perfect example of this, the Fisher Price Rock and Play Sleepers. They went on sale in 2009, nearly 5 million units sold. In 2012, there was a report showing the federal government was aware of several deaths. Yet the public didn't see any kind of recall until 2019. Do you know how many mandated recalls there have been in the last 5, 10, 20 years? I know it's very few. To give you perspective on how imbalanced things are, let's take a look at the three agencies in charge of safety and recalls. The first is the FDA. It oversees food and drugs. It has a $6 billion budget. It is strict. The FDA has to approve a product before it hits the market. It monitors product quality and data shows it has issued almost 12,000 recalls since 2018. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration monitors automotives. It has a $1 billion budget. It's a little more loose. It doesn't approve cars prior to sale, but it does make sure vehicles follow safety standards. NHTSA has issued 4,480 recalls since 2018. Then you have the Consumer Product Safety Commission. It only gets $135 million a year, and it oversees everything else from air conditioning units to tools, your children's toys, and clothing. It has only issued 1,125 recalls in five years, but that was because the companies agreed to take action. But Professor George Paul with the IU Kelly School of Business warns there are many managers out there who will put profit over people's lives. He has seen it firsthand. I've been in these meetings and so I know they're not easy meetings. If a manager has to face profits versus safety, there are many instances where they might make the wrong call. What is the solution to all of this? What needs to be done does right now lay with Congress and that's a major increase in the budget. It's why 24 consumer groups, including Kids in Danger, the National Retail Federation, and the Consumer Federation of America, sent these letters to the Committee of Appropriations and Senator Dick Durbin. They are pleading for change and for more money for the CPSC. I reached out to all of these federal lawmakers, along with the sponsor and co-sponsor of the Sunshine and Product Safety Act, to talk about this issue. Not one person called or emailed me back. We would like to have the ability, like other safety agencies, um, to, uh, to notify consumers as soon as we hear about hazards. Um, but until that, until that day, you know, we will do whatever we can um, with the authority that we do have to, to alert consumers. And until that day comes, the responsibility of making sure products are safe lies with you at home. If you'd like to go through all 17,000 pages worth of product complaints, I posted a link on CBS4Indy.com. I'm Angela Brower, CBS4 Investigates. To see more